Hey guys, what's up? This is Joey Zero, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about uh, the new update that Warframe just released. It's update 7.8, and uh, they've got some new Tenno reinforcements, some new weapons for us. Uh, they've also got some of the, um, they've also got some changes to the way uh, a couple things in the game work. So I kind of just wanted to take you through this kind of one by one. Um, we're also kind of going to be switching over to Warframe a little bit here. Um, but yeah, the very first post is, uh, if you go to Warframe.com, it's the first post on the actual website is about the Tenno reinforcements. Um, they've got the, uh, well, actually, let's, let's go ahead and start with the, uh, let's go ahead and start with the Sentinels. That's it. Uh, they released some cosmetic stuff for Sentinels. I think this is the coolest thing ever. Um, well, I mean, not the coolest thing ever, but I, I think this is really, really cool. Uh, I know that the player base has been asking a lot for some more customization, and I'm really glad to see them adding this in. I think this is going to be really well received. Um, you can see they've got a new bundle where they've got masks, wings, and tails. Uh, you don't have to buy the bundle. Uh, you can also buy the individual items from the market uh, under the equipment section, but it's not... You know, it, you're saving yourself a good deal of platinum if you do buy the bundle. Me personally, I'm not really, I don't really want to spend the platinum on the cosmetic stuff just yet. Um, I, but I mean, you know, have at it, you guys. Customization, go for it. Um, the other thing on here, the next thing is the uh, the melee weapons, the Ankyros, I believe, is how it's pronounced. Uh, these are, they look pretty cool. Um, they're supposed to be pretty fast, but. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see kind of how they play out. I'd like to see what other players think of them. Me personally, I've got other things that I'm looking to build first. Uh, the blueprints are available in the marketplace, um, or you can buy it with platinum, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'd kind of be more interested to see what other players think of them before I go, you know, building it. Um, they've also got a new gun, the Gracata. It's supposed to have a high fire rate and some pretty solid ammo, uh, like a, a lot of ammo. Uh, is what they're saying. Um, it's got the same amount of ammo as the Bratton at about twice the fire rate and about half the power. So just kind of do the math there. Hopefully that'll give you an idea of, you know, about how it's going to be used. Um, once again, same thing. The blueprints are available in the marketplace uh, or you can buy it with platinum. It's totally up to you, however you want to do it. Um, me personally, if I, if I do build it, I'm going to build it. I'm going to actually get the blueprint um, just because, I don't know. If I have platinum, I want to save it for other things, you know? Um, anyway, uh, that's kind of it for that. Uh, as you can see, this, this post was kind of sparse, the first post there. Um, they've also got a post on the forums. Now, this post has only been up for a couple minutes, but the post on the forums, uh, it also mentions these, but it's been up for a couple of hours, and it goes into a lot more detail. Uh, they talk about the new weapons, the new Sentinel uh, cosmetic attachments. Uh, and what is this? Added up, down arrows to objectives on the mini map. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm just kind of going to go through these one by one. Um, okay, let's go through these first couple here. The mission credit or mission completion credit rewards now scale up based on AI level. That's really cool. Uh, the forum post actually said that it was going to be for missions. I believe they said it was going to be one to five thousand credits, and for alerts it was going to be two to ten thousand. Um, so that's really awesome. Uh, aborting missions now forfeits any obtained credits, mods, resources, or blueprints. Earned XP is still rewarded. Dojo targeting challenge now rotates player camera to the first target and made the timer more forgiving. That's good. <laughs> Trink actually, uh, a buddy of mine was going through that uh, the other night and he actually didn't know there was a timer until it, like close to the end. And uh, he had one. He finished his rank, his rank test with one second left. Um, so... I honestly, before that, I didn't even know there was a timer. <laughs> so that's that's good. Um, sniper ammo now drops from containers during jackal fight. That's good. Grenier Lancers are now deployed with the Gracata assault rifle, the new one. They actually put that on some of the Grenier's. Uh, Chronos Blueprint now only a guaranteed drop the first time. Tolstage is completed. The first time Tolstage is completed, percent chance to drop continues to decrease on additional runs. Um, I think that's really good, and we'll explain that here in a second. Uh, prevent fusing and selling critical ability precept mods when no duplicates are present. That is a good thing. Uh, animation tweaks to some weapon positions and jump dive, blah, blah, blah. Improved MOA, Osprey, and Jackal models. That's, that's kind of neat. I always like it when improved models. 
make it look better. Blah. Um, okay, let's kind of go over a couple of those real quick. Uh, you may or may not have kind of put two and two together with some of those. Um, they made it so that they made it so my, my light, my shadow is like in my face. Uh, they made it so that you can no longer abort missions after you get the blueprints or mats that you're looking for. You have to complete it in order to get any of that. The only thing you keep is the experience. Uh, and they've also made it so that the Cronus blueprint is not a guaranteed drop off for after the first time you run him. Um, Steve, DE Steve actually said that the whole reason why they made it 100% drop rate was just to inc uh, introduce new players to the foundry. Um, and they, they absolutely did not want to see players grinding Tolstage over and over again because it was the most efficient way to get credits. And you know what? I think this is an awesome change. I think that with the uh, with the increase in credits that we're going to be getting from missions and the fact that they've kind of nerfed the drop rate on the Cronus Blueprint, um, I think that's really great because... I don't know, I feel like new players, when they start playing, they, they feel kind of held back because they've got to catch up with the players that have been playing longer or the players that have, you know, spent real money on the game. Um, and in order to catch up, you need credits. And in order to get credits, the fastest way to do that is to grind Tolstage. Well, it was yesterday. Um, and I think, personally, I'm really glad that they made the change because now I feel like for some of the newer players, it kind of frees frees us up to go out and work on our our mission progression and not have to worry about credits all that much because there's just going to be something that we pick up while we're progressing i think this is great um the the fact that they're increasing the credits that's awesome um and now you'll no longer have like a host that drops after the blueprints or uh, people will no longer be able to queue up for solo defense missions in Pluto and, you know, take a fail on the first run so that way you get some rubetto and then fail but you keep the rubetto. None of that anymore. Um, personally, I'm all for any way that we can grind rubetto faster. <laughs> um, but I, I imagine that they made the change because it's a behavior that the devs didn't really want to encourage because it didn't line up with the game that they're trying to make. Uh, and, you know, I, I can kind of groove with that. I can kind of see where they're coming from with that. And I agree with it. I think it's a great change. Uh, fixes. There's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, fix Sentinels not activating regen if they took damage from multiple sources in the same frame. Fixed an issue with multiple XP sources having trouble displaying on the screen at the same time. Fixed an issue where more than four players could not be in a match at once. No, I'm sorry, could be in a match at once. I've actually had that happen before. I was in a match and we ended up with five players, and then after the match, everybody disconnected. It was, it was really cool when it happened because I was like, "Oh God, the devs did it! Oh God!" But they didn't do it. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Um, what else? Um, fixed. Uh, where where was I? Lost my place now. Uh, fixed an issue where enemies would hang back in defense. Yeah, that was that was really annoying. Uh, fixed leaping infested, not moving towards targets. I can't say I've seen that. Fixed stalker sound not being affected by in-game audio settings. I can't say I've seen that. I've actually never fought the stalker. I've killed countless bosses. I I, I really don't care to count them, but I I've, I have yet to see the stalker. I'm really excited about that. Actually, I can't wait. Um, the dagger axe blueprint being incorrectly linked to Paris. Weird. Um, fixed Banshee push power not working against chargers. That's good. Fixed players being able to run out of ammo in dojo tests that force a specific weapon. That's also good. Fixed an issue where failing the wall run dojo would still count as a success. I, I didn't know that. Uh, fixed Dark Sword blueprint it can now be crafted. Fixed large number of spots that AI would get stuck. That's awesome. That's so annoying. Um, fixed some material types to, I mean, especially on, like, defense missions. Fixed some material types to display proper hit effects. Fixed additional cases of old accounts missing fusion cores. I'd heard about that. I haven't experienced it. Uh, fixed scroll wheel on large contact slash clan list. That is awesome, because both of mine require scrolling, and I really wanted to use my scroll, and it's just kind of annoying to, like, sit there. What? Why is my mouse working? Why isn't it working? I don't get it. 
I don't get it. And then like, whatever. Um, fixed cases where reach, focus, and continuity mods were not affecting many Warframe abilities. I didn't even know that was a problem. And uh, this last little edit here, the fixed elemental mods not stacking properly on projectile weapons. That's pretty cool. I, I didn't know there was a problem with them stacking. I know that there were some problems with Paris, and honestly, I'm a little... I, I really kind of wish that they would have fixed the Paris rather than, like, some of this other stuff that doesn't affect me. But, I mean, that's just that's all just stuff that doesn't affect me, so it's whatever. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Uh, update 7.0 in, in a nutshell, in a bag, in a box, however you would like it. Uh, there it is. That's it. Go out and play it. Go out and, and you know, let me know what you think. Um, I'm definitely going to be keeping an ear out to see what everybody thinks of the new weapons. Uh, because, I mean, you know, if they're really awesome, I'm going to go build them. Like, today. Actually, probably not today, because then it would be only one person saying it was awesome. Probably. Anyway, once again, my name is Joey Zero, and uh, definitely keep an eye out for more updates, uh, guides, and, you know, just general awesome videos and stuff as time goes by. So, yeah, that's it. What are you still doing here? Oh, do you want to hang out? <laughs>